Um, I'm Charlie Jennifer and I'm a poet and I recently won the 2015 Peter Poet Laureate role. Yeah. So yeah. I suppose it's kind of an advocacy campaign for poetry in Peterborough. So it's quite a prestigious role and then whoever wins it has probably been going for about 14, 15 years and the winner is kind of the poetry person of Peterborough and just kind of building that network and being the kind of voice of Peterborough Poets, I guess. Yeah, I think it's been a mixture. I think okay. because it's a voluntary role, yeah. people take what they want from it, whether they want to just use it as a bit of a status symbol or mm. if they want to actually do some stuff. But people like Mark Grist have had it, Mixie's had it, Pete Cox has had it, and they're still really big advocates for the scene. It varies very much depending each year what's going on within the city but I think a lot of them had different call outs to like mm -hmm. write a poem in response to an event mm -hmm. or kind of attend an event as the embodiment of poetry but mm -hmm. it's quite um, I think my big ambition is to bring poetry to a younger audience in the city mm -hmm. so I'm going to start by going to a lot of schools and kind of showing them that poetry isn't just the stuff you study on the curriculum mm -hmm. and that there's so much more out there mm -hmm. and that a lot of them probably do write poetry they just won't admit it <laughs> or like it but they won't admit it and kind of show especially the crossovers with like the spoken word scene and rap and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff and bring that out and then I also want to set up a creative writing group because mm -hmm. I think there's not a safe space around here for people to kind of share mm -hmm. their work and it's really hard mm -hmm. if you're a new poet to mm -hmm. kind of know whether you're any good or not mm -hmm. so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do a quarterly freak speak poetry night which I started in November um, I'm gonna have some like national names from the people I've met when I worked at the South Bank mm -hmm. and Cambridge Junction and Apples and Snakes and all that Amazing. and then hopefully I'll also tie that in with kind of master classes that will fit with the creative writing mm -hmm. workshops so then they can come and learn skills from like national poets, which would be pretty cool. Um, well, I just ordered Andrew McMillan's book, Ian mm -hmm. McMillan's Son. Um, I saw him, I went to the Forward Poetry um, final prize mm -hmm. ceremony and he read this poem about urination. <laughs> yeah, it's such a like, it's, it kind of resonated with me as how I write, mm -hmm. quite a disgusting opening subject matter. Mm -hmm. But then as the poem progresses, he finds this absolute beauty about being a man and kind of being a gay man especially and it's like really beautiful so I think he's definitely my favourite at the minute. Um, who else? Yeah, Watson Shire I absolutely love as well. Um, she's just kind of becoming the voice of a younger generation because she was London Poet Laureate and yeah I think she just kind of is really powerful with what she writes and she's not scared to be powerful and I think that is another reason why I love her. Yeah, those are probably my two favourites of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, well there's like all these competitions and stuff on like BBC of like yeah. even like that pottery throwdown and things yeah. like that. Like bring bring in kind of that sense of celebration mm. to all other art forms is definitely something that should happen. Whether yeah. it's like a singular role or like a competition or something, just yeah, definitely I think it would I think it would Yeah, yeah. definitely raise the profile of a lot more art yeah. forms. So there is Pint of Poetry, which is the monthly open mic night. At the moment it's in the Charters on the second Wednesday of every month, so the next one's 9th of December. Um, that is hosted by Mark Grist, so that's been going probably since before he won the laureate, so about 10 years now I think. So it's been going a long time. Um, there's Peter of Poets United, who I'm going to later actually, um, which is again just a kind of group gathering. Um, there'll be my night, Freak Speak, which will next one will probably be February, March time, which is a uh, curated spoken word night, bringing like all these national headliners and then I also pay for two local poets to come and perform as well. Because it's nice. I think, firstly, I'd definitely say read. Read a lot. Because my work I'll happily admit, when I first started writing, I thought I was too, like, well, I didn't have time and I didn't really see the importance and I was still able to write without reading, but 
since coming back here I found it's so easy to get creatively trapped without being inspired by the things around you and mm -hmm. the work you're reading. Mm -hmm. So I think that's definitely a big one. Um, yeah, just explore the poetry scene that's out there. Um, don't be afraid to come to things even on your own. Again, like a year ago I wouldn't have come to Pint of Poetry on my own but now mm -hmm. I'm always there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't get rid of me. Because um, the poetry environment is so supportive. It's, I think it's one of the most supportive mm -hmm. communities because we're essentially all just outcasts anyway <laughs> that have found this creative outlet and we've all come together through that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to remember that, that, yeah, definitely don't be afraid to go to things because you will meet people and you will make friends.